Hello, welcome to episode 53 of A Week in Watches. My name is Blake Benner, I'll be your host this week. This is our weekly look back at all the people, watches, and stories from the industry. We have a lot to cover this week. Before we do, this episode is brought to you by the Wind Up Watch Shop, which has all of your watches, watch accessories, gear, even, uh, needs covered. We'll have a little bit more on that midway through the show, so stay tuned. All right, we are kicking things off this week with a really cool watch from Tissot. This is called the Cedar Rail. This is a regatta timer based on an old school design of theirs, and it looks old school. This thing is super funky. This is a barrel shaped case, but instead of fiberglass, it is forged carbon. This comes with three dials, a yellow, a blue, and a gray, and it has the regatta timing marks at five minute increments for the first 10 minutes for all your regatta timing needs. If you're not sure what a regatta timer is or aren't in the business of racing yachts and boats, uh, I know I'm certainly not. A regatta timer is helped to sync up the start of one of these races. These are boats, so they're all in motion. So the idea is to sync up a five minute start mark for these boats. So when a sound is made, the watch can start tracking these five minute increments and be at the start uh, line, hopefully on time or when it starts. I'm not an expert in this. I don't even have a yacht, so I'll just take their word for it. Either way though, this is a pretty cool looking watch. This is fitted with the Powermatic 80 movement. It comes with some colorful straps. Uh, it's priced at $1,152. This is the Tissot Cedar Rail. We've got more information on this and all the watches now live at Wine Wild. Com. All right, next up, we're moving into a couple of big releases from Breguet. They are bringing back the Type 20 and Type 20 chronograph in military form and in civilian form. Starting off the Type 20, that is 20, reference 2057. This is the military reference here with the caliber 7281. This is a new chronograph movement from Breguet. This is a dual register design that's based off of the Breguet 1100 that was delivered to the French Air Force. This is, of course, a flyback chronograph. This is 42 millimeter steel case. And this is the more simple of the two. The other one is the Type 20 X. X, reference 2067. This is a civilian based model that uses a caliber 728. This includes a 15 minute totalizer off to the right. This is based off the 2988. And this is also 42 millimeters and in steel. Both of these watches get a very odd date placement uh, between the four and five o'clock hour markers uh, all kind of bunched up in there. So that's the only real kind of deviation here that might irk some people. But overall, this is a really beautiful retelling of the Bouguet Type 20, and it's nice to see it in modern guys here. These are $18,000. We'll have some hands-on with these watches coming soon, so keep an eye out for that. If you've got any questions about these watches, let us know, and we'll do our best to get them answered. Next up, we have a new release from Maurice Lacroix. That's right. They are bringing back a old-school favorite, the Pontos S Diver. If you've been around a while, you might remember this one back from 2015. 13, I believe it was. This is their internal bezel diver. Very simple, very cool design, very distinctive design, I gotta say. I was a big fan of this watch when it came out. This is 42 millimeters. It's using a Salita based SW200 movement. A lot of fun strap options here. It's about $2,000. It's coming in black with orange accents, white with blue accents, and a limited edition bronzed case version. It's a little bit more expensive, very sharp. I will say the design holds up really well today, but I've always been partial to this design. To me, it's one of the more unique looking divers out there. I really enjoy the kind of simple hour hand and minute track there. And I'm always kind of a sucker for an internal rotating bezel. So hats off to Maurice Lacroix for bringing this one back. Before we go any further, don't forget to check out this week's sponsor, the Wind Up Watch Shop. If you haven't visited the Wind Up Watch Shop lately, be sure to head over there. We've got all kinds of new exciting things there from watches to watch accessories, straps, watch boxes. We've also got a lot of new gear items that are coming up over there pocket knives and things of that nature. So do yourself a favor, head over to the Wind Up Watch shop. We are constantly refreshing with new products, lots of new watches coming in there, really cool new Zodiac stuff. And of course, we've got the classic watch box that's even coming in new colors these days. So be sure to check that out over at the Wind Up Watch shop. All right, next we're moving over to Seiko. They have a new King Seiko in the collection. Uh, you remember a few years ago, they brought back the King Seiko proper based on the 1965 KSK. It was a limited edition before adding a more regular production version without a date. Well, they're bringing back new references, the SJE089 and SJE091. With a silver and black dial, these are bringing back the date with a new 
automatic movement, the 6L35. Uh, this is just a 10.7 millimeter thick watch, size at 38.6, very classy, very true to the original from 1965, and this will be a regular part of the collection. So if you like the dateless version, but prefer to keep it true to the original KSK, this one might be your best bet. This is priced at $3,300. So it certainly looks familiar and old school. Uh, the case has been slightly redesigned though, around the other regular production models. Again, it's a slightly trimmer case. It's a slightly more truncated lug, but it still keeps that very distinctive kind of origami-like design language to its surfaces, which are very flat and geometric, the transition between brushed and polished surfaces. That is the new King Seiko SJE references, importantly, not to SPB references. So, And finally this week, we have a new watch from IWC. Well, it's not really a new watch. It's just their Mark 20 that has been released with a white dial and black accents. It's just a really sharp looking watch. Of course, this is a great looking watch at its base. Very easy, everyday watch to grab. It's 40 millimeters. This uses the IWC in-group movement in caliber 32111. It has their easy exchange bracelet that is coming on, the kind of a brick road style bracelet. So be able to use any of the other 20 millimeter lug span bracelets that have the same easy exchange system, which of course use just a slightly trimmer lug bar. So you can still put on a NATO or any other kind of strap that you want here, which is kind of the nice feature of the easy link uh, that it allows you to use a standard spring bar if you so choose. But you don't have to get it on the bracelet. It also comes on a leather strap if you so choose. That starts at $5,250. If you opt for the bracelet, it goes up to $6,150. So you can check out that watch and all the watches that we've discussed here today on oneandwound.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. And if you enjoy this content, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Once again, don't forget to visit Windup Watch Shop for all your watch and watch accessory needs. And until next week, take care.